Hey guys, welcome to my newest video for today. Today's video is part four of my DVD and Blu-ray collection overview. This will be the final part and this is going to cover my movie DVDs and it covers this section of my, um, I guess, how I display them. Um, I am hoping to actually narrow my collection down, like upgrade a lot of them to Blu-ray and um, you know I only have just a small section of DVDs but um, I'll see how I go with that. So basically um, yeah I'll just get started and just quickly up here we have my Mummy Collector's Edition trilogy. We have all three Mummy movies, I have seen all three. Um, don't really care for the third one, but my favourite would probably be the second and I do want to actually upgrade um, at least the first two films on, to Blu-ray, but um, I'm obviously still going to keep this um, edition because I actually quite like it, so <laughs> that's that. And then we have my Gilbert and Sullivan box set. This has all, basically all of Gilbert and Sullivan's operettas, um, or most of them, and they're in this really nice box that I can't really show because <laughs> it's a bit awkward. Um, these are basically made for TV um, adaptations, so you have like the Mikado, Pirates of Penzance, Iolanthe, Radigore, the Sorcerer, etc. Um, and yeah, I have watched all of them, really good. <laughs> Um, but I, as you know, I'm a massive Gilbert and Sullivan fangirl, so it's that one. Then we have the Alfred Hitchcock box set. Um, I've been really slack and I've only seen one movie out of this, and that was Rear Window, which I really liked. So hopefully this year I can actually delve into that set, and because um, there are actually a few of them in there that I really want to watch at some point. So it's that one. Then we have my Kill Bill Volume 1 Premium Box Set. Um, this was a completely unplanned purchase. I saw it on eBay and I managed to get it for like 30 bucks. Um, I actually haven't seen Kill Bill, but I just could not pass up this set. Um, it's Most of it, it, it's like still intact and everything, like it hasn't been opened. Um, there's only a dent at the bottom, but you can't see that. So I just thought it looks really cool and... It looks nice on display, so um, I am hoping to actually track down the Kill Bill Blu-ray still books um, at some point, and then I could actually watch them. So, it's that the Thin Man collection. Um, I've again only seen the first two movies. Need to finish that because I love the Thin Man, particularly the th first one, because it's one of my favourite movies in my top ten, and um, yeah, I really want to finish that set. Then we have my Rogers and Hammerstein's Music Box gift set. This has Carousel, State Fair, Oklahoma, Sound of Music, South Pacific, and The Kin and I. Um, you can't actually get it in this style of packaging anymore, which I really like. But um, yeah, so I have that. And then um, I sort of have it arranged um, a bit, sort of like my Blu rays. Like, I have steel books, box sets, special packaging, and slipcases all together. So, um, yeah, sorry if it gets a, the lighting gets a bit weird here. Um, we have All About Eve. This is my steel books. All About Eve, Back to the Future trilogy, Sin City, and then we had the Batman Legacy. This is a digipack. Um, I really do want to get the anthology on Blu-ray, um, even though I still haven't actually seen Batman and Robin all the way through yet. I know most people will tell me not to bother, but I'm a completist, so um, I really do like all three of the other Batman movies, so, um, but I actually do quite like this set, so I don't know if I'd um, get rid of this one. It's, um, I actually got this for my 17th birthday, so I've had it for quite a number of years like eight or nine years so um but yeah uh flash gordon the complete series this is the 1930s flash gordon um 
I've seen the first one because that's one of the ones mentioned in Rocky Horror's science fiction double feature, which um, I actually have most of the movies mentioned in that, but um, Flash Gordon was the line that um, Flash Gordon was there in silver underwear, so... <laughs> Um, and yes, I have memorized that song basically, so. And then um, we have the Marilyn Collection, which has eight Marilyn Monroe films. I've only seen one in this box set, which was Gentlemen Pro Blondes, and I really liked it. Because um, this has like bus stop, um, and I might be able to get it out and see what it has. Yeah, uh, bus stop, Gentlemen Pro Blondes, How to Marry a Millionaire. Let's Make It Legal, Monkey Business, The Seven Year Itch, Some Like It Hot, There's No Business Like Show Business. So, um, yeah, I do want to finish that, if I can get it back in. There we go. Uh, down here we sort of have, like, book-style packaging here. And we have Les Miserables, the 10th anniversary concert, which I actually just watched today again. Um... I'm completely obsessed with Les Mis and it's like my biggest um, ambition probably um, to actually go to Europe, like London and see it on the big screen. I'm not like the stage, not screen, <laughs> um, just to, to um, see it on West End would be amazing and because um, it's like my favourite musical of all time. I got to actually be in a product local production a couple of years ago, and it was like the best two weeks, <laughs> um, or one of the best two weeks um, I've had. Just even though I mean I was only in the chorus, but even then, because previously I was sort of like I'd kill to be in the chorus, and I got to be in the chorus, and no one was harmed. So um, possibly the next one, I'd I'd love to be Madame Thenardier. I've decided. Um, at some point later on, I'd love the chance to play her. I think she'd be an awesome character to play. But yeah, that's um, the 10th anniversary. And then we have Pulp Fiction. This was the 15th anniversary edition that um, I think only Australia got, but I'm not too sure on that. To Kill a Mockingbird Universal Legacy series. I do know they've recently released it on Blu-ray and um, I actually haven't watched the DVD yet that I have of it, like this copy here, but um, I have seen the movie because we studied it, well we studied the book in year 10 and we watched the movie at the end, so, um, but yeah, it was, a nom it was nominated for the 1962, I think, yeah, 62 Best Picture, so, um, I'll try to watch it this month and then get the digibook that's come out. Then we have my one and only Criterion, which is the Mikado, um, the 1939 film. Really good. Um, um, as I mentioned, love Gilbert and Sullivan, so of course had to get this. Um, I would have liked Topsy Turvy, but I've already got that on DVD, which you'll see a bit later on. But um, I really like this adaptation, so... Then we move into my oh, now Frigga's uh, slipcases, 101 Dalmatians Platinum Edition, The Adventures of Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, Aladdin, Return of Jafar, and Aladdin, King of Thieves, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, The Day the Earth Stood Still, 1951, um, the original, have no desire to see the remake, and um, of course I got the original, um, it's... Again, in science fiction double feature with um, Michael Rennie was ill the day the earth stood still. So, And then we have Enchanted, Fight Club, a John Hughes pack with Weird Science, 16 Candles and The Breakfast Club, Miracle on 34th Street, the 1994 version and Jingle All the Way, Monty Python's Holy Grail, The Other Berlin Girl, Piano, Pinocchio Platinum Edition, Sleeping Beauty Platinum Edition, Slumdog Millionaire and Walk the Line. Then we have some like combo packs. So these are either double like movies with two or three movies in them. So we have 
28 Days Later and 28 Weeks Later, American Pie 1, 2, and 3, Annie the 1982 Film and Oliver, Charlie's Angels 1 and 2, uh, Nicole Kidman Double Pack with Cole Mountain and the Others, Ghostbusters, Ghostbusters 2, Grease, Ghost and an Officer and a Gentleman, a John Cusack Pack with High Fidelity and Grace Point Blank, Home Alone 1 and 2, the original 1933 King Con, again, um, science fiction double feature, and that line was, and something went wrong for Faye Ray and King Con, they got caught in a cellular jam, so, and then it also has King Con Escapes and King Con vs. Godzilla, The Land Before Time 1, 2, and 3, and The Land Before Time 4 and 5. Look Who's Talking, Look Who's Talking 2, and Look Who's Talking Now. Men in Black 1 and 2, definitely looking forward to Men in Black 3. The trailer looks awesome, so hope the movie's good. And then we have a Julia Roberts pack with My Best Friend's Wedding and Closer. The first three Nightmare on Elm Street films. And then we sort of move into like concerts with Andre Rieu, uh, New York Memories, Andre Rieu live in Vienna, Andre Rieu live in Australia, and we have the Dixie Chicks Top of the World live, Pink's Funhouse Tour live in Australia. Yeah, and then we have a couple of stand up DVDs with. Charlie Pickering live at the time of recording and Kitty Flanagan charming and alarming. So now we move into like the regular movies, like just the standard editions. We have 8 Mile, 45 Caliber, 42nd Street, 51st Dates, 101 Dalmatians and 102 Dalmatians with Glenn Close, 300, 1776, 2000, well, that should be. 2001 A Space Odyssey and 2010 The Yui Wake Contact. Yeah, that's a bit better. And then we have AI, Artificial Intelligence, The Abyss, The Adventures of Milo and Otis, Aeon Flux, All That Jazz, The American President, An American... I think I've got got that back to front. Should be American Werewolf in London. An Affair to Remember. Anchors Away. I think. Oh, yeah, that's right. Sorry. Um, no, I don't think it is. Um, just bear with me. Okay, that should be right. Um, an Affair to Remember the American President. An American Werewolf in London. I think the slide's back to... Uh, I don't know why it's showing up like that. Um, um. I'll have to change this later, sorry guys. Uh, Anchors Away, Anchorman, Andrew Lloyd Webber, um, I think that was Royal Albert Hall Celebration, any of the 1999 movie adaptation, any get, any get Your Gun, Armageddon, Anywhere But Here, Baby's Day Out, Babe, Bad Girls, Batman the 1960s movie, Batman Begins, and what? Batman The Dark Knight, Batman Gotham Knight, Battle for Terror, The Beach, Beautiful Girls, Bender Like Beckham, Black Snake Moon, The Black Hole, The Blair Witch Project, BMX Bandits, Big Trouble in Little China, then we have my James Bond movies with Dr. No, From Russia with Love, Goldfinger, Thunderball, You Only Live Twice, On Her Majesty's Secret Service, Moonraker, 
Diamonds of Forever, Live and Let Die, The Man with the Golden Gun, The Spy Who Loved Me, For Your Eyes Only, Octopussy, A View to a Kill, The Living Daylights, License to Kill, Golden Eye, Tomorrow Never Dies, The World is Not Enough, Die Another Day, Casino Royale, Quantum of Solace, Never Say Never Again, and Casino Royale, 1967, Brigadoon, The Broadway Melody of 1940, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Bye Bye Birdie, Cabaret, Calamity Jane, Camelot, uh, the 1980s Camelot on Broadway, Captain Lightfoot, Casper, Catch Me If You Can, Cats, Catwoman, Chaplin, Clash of the Titans, Con Air, Cool Hand Luke, Coyote Ugly, Crossroads, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, Cruel Intentions, Cutthroat Island, Dante's Peak, Day of the Triffids, Dead Calm, and then we have Dead Men Don't Wear Blood, Dead Poets Society, Death Becomes Her, Death Train, Deception, The Devil Wears Prada, Dr. Look Doodle. Dr. Doolittle, the 1967 musical with Rex Harrison, Dog Soldiers, Donovan's Reef. Then we have Double Double Toil and Trouble, Dr. Strangelove, E.T., Easter Parade, Edward Scissorhands, Empire Record, Escape to Witch Mountain, Everyone Says I Love You, and where are we? Evita. And we have Fame, Fantastic Four, Fantastic Four Rise of the Silver Surfer, The Fisherkin, Fighting Temptations, Fiddler on the Roof, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, Fly Away Home, and that one is Footloose. Yeah, I noticed I've made quite a few mistakes in arranging these, so uh, sorry it's a bit out of order, but... um. So this that sec section then we just sort of have uh, this section here it's a bit weird but um, I'll just quickly go over them so we have Forbidden Planet, Forgetting Sarah Marshall, Forrest Gump, Frost Nixon, Funny Face, Funny Girl, A Funny Thing Happened on the Way to the Forum, Garden State, Get Smart, Girl Interrupted, Goya's Ghost, The Green Mile, Groundhog Day, Grace 2, The Guns of Navarron, Guys and Dolls, Gypsy, the original 1960s movie, and Bette Midler's Gypsy, Hairspray, Hans Christian Anderson, Heat, uh, Hellboy, Hellboy 2, Hellboy Sword of Storms and Blood and Iron, Hello Dolly, High Society, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, HMS Pinafore, Holiday Inn, and my copy of House Music Festival 2004 from my old school, How to Make an American Quilt, Howard the Duck, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, Indecent, oh that's the um, Jim Carrey version, Indecent Proposal, Independence Day, Into the Woods, The Invisible Man, it came from outer space, It's a Wonderful Life, Jaws, Jekyll and Hyde, Jesus Christ Superstar 1973, Jesus Christ Superstar the 2000 version, Johnny English, Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat, Jumanji, Jungle Book, Juno, The Karate Kid, Kate and Leopold, Kindergarten Cop, Kiss Me Kate, The Lady Killers, Last Action Hero, Lawrence of Arabia, Leon the Professional, Les Miserables, the 1998 movie, Lalo and Stitch, The Little Mermaid, Little Shop of Horrors, The Long Kiss Goodnight, The Lost Boys, Love Actually, Lucky 13, Mad Love, More Rats, Mamma Mia, Mars Attacks, Mary Poppins, The Mask of Zorro, Meet Me in St. Louis, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers and Turbo a Power Rangers movie. Milk, The Mikado Opera Australia, 
Mona Lisa's Smile, Milan Rouge, Mr. McGroom's Wonder Emporium, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington, The Muppet Movie, The Great Muppet Caper, Muppets Take Manhattan, Muppet Christmas Carol, Muppet Treasure Island, Muppets from Space, Muriel's Wedding, The Music Man, My Big Fat Greek Wedding, My Blueberry Nights, My Fair Lady, My Own Private Idaho, National Treasure, National Treasure 2 Book of Secrets, Next, Nicholas and Alexandra, Not Another Teen Movie, Notting Hill, Nonsense, Oklahoma with Hugh Jackman, On the Town, Once, One Flew Over the Cooker's Nest, Paint Your Wagon, The Pajama Game, The Parent Trap, 1961, and the remake with Lindsay Lohan, Paris When It Sizzles, Paris at Him, The Peacemaker, Peter Pan, Philadelphia, Picnic at Henning Rock, The Pirate, The Pirate Movie, Pirates of the Caribbean 1, 2 and 3, The Pirates of Penzance 1983 movie, Pirates of Penzance the 1994 SG production with John English and The Pirates of Penzance 2006 with um, Opera Australia, Pokemon, the first movie, Pokemon 2000, The Polar Express, Princess Diaries, Princess Diaries 2, Princess of Thieves, The Queen, The Reader, Rent, Rent's Live on Broadway, Richie Rich, Roman Holiday, Romeo and Juliet, uh, um, the 1990s with Leonardo DiCaprio, Royal Wedding, Sabrina, The Santa Claus, Scooby-Doo, The Secret Garden, Serenity, Seven Brides for Seven Brothers, Shane, Showboat, Shrek, Sitting in the Rain, Sister Act, Sister Act 2, Sleepy Hollow, Sleepless in Seattle, Sky Captain in the World of Tomorrow, Small Soldiers, Snakes on a Plane, Space Jam, Spartacus, Star Trek The Motion Picture, Wrath of Khan, Search for Spock, Voyage Home, Final Frontier, Undiscovered Country, uh, Generations, First Contact, Insurrection, Nemesis, Trekkies, the documentary, and Star Wars Clone Wars. And then down here we have The Stin, Stranger Than Fiction, Superhero Movie, it's, uh, Sweet, we can get it to focus, Sweet Charity, and Sweeney Todd, uh, Demon Barbara, Fleet Street, Take Me Out to the Ball Game, Tarantula, Titanic. Panic, THX1138, uh, Topsy Turvy, Transformers Animated Movie, Treasure Planet, Trespass, Tristan and Isidol, True Grit, 1969, True Lies, Tuesday, V for Vendetta, Van Helsing, Let's get a bit of a focus. Uh, Victor Victoria, Wag the Dog, War and Peace, West Side Story, When Worlds Collide, Where the Heart Is, Wimbledon, The Wizard of Oz, The Wiz, X Men 1, 2, and 3, Yankee Doodle Dandy, and Zoolander. So that is my whole collection overview. Uh, sorry about how rushed it was um, towards the end. I didn't, I've already tried to film this video a few times, so I just thought, um, yeah, I'd just go straight through with it. Um, obviously, I have to fix up a few of the um, DVDs because they're not in the right place. So, um, yeah, because if I spent all of that time putting them back the way they w should be, uh, this video would be quite long, or at least longer than what it is. But, um, anyway... That is it. So um, I'm probably not going to do another one until next year. So because it's sort of starting to become a bit hard to do it now that the collection's growing. Um, so I might just um, wait and see. But I don't think there'll be one until next year. But um, but that's the collection. So until my next video, I will see you guys next time. Bye.